right, welcome back. We are at Dare County Airport in Manteo, North Carolina, heading to First Flight Airport in Kitty Hawk. The question I want to answer today is, can you learn to fly airplanes in real life through flight simulators? Should you spend $1,000 on a computer system? Is a virtual reality headset worth the additional cost? I'd scoured YouTube to find these answers, but came up short. I took a risk and invested in a decent computer plus Oculus Rift headset, not knowing if the VR technology was well developed enough to be worth the additional expense. Okay. Let's take a look at this footage of my first real world flight with hands on control, and I'll tell you more after takeoff. So I started at a Part 61 flight school to cut costs on my first lessons and was matched with a well-trained instructor from Emory Riddle, a world-renowned 141 flight academy. He said he appreciated that I'd done my homework, and this meant that he was motivated to teach and gave me lots of extra free education once we landed. After quizzing me on the ground and testing me out at 3,000 feet, he let me do my own landings on my first proper lesson, with his hands on the controls to correct me. Starting our left turn for crosswind leg. Note, I did not speed up or slow down either the real world or VR recording. They matched up like this naturally on first attempt at each. Entering downwind leg for first flight airport runway 21 at 1000 feet. No traffic in sight. Virtual reality headset is an extreme value purchase. Adding a $400 Oculus Rift VR headset so you can actually look around, rapidly transitioning from your instrument display to the side window for your downwind approach and back to a front windshield view for landing, steps it up from an abstract exercise to a true simulation where you're developing muscle memory and how to focus through stressful steps like takeoff and landing. Takeoff and landing are incredibly overwhelming in real life, and if you're already familiar with the sequence of events, it's enormously beneficial. This can save you time and money that you won't have to spend on real-world flight lessons at two to three hundred dollars an hour. With that, I'll stop hogging the frequency. We're turning final approach for runway 21 at First Flight Airport in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, where the Wright brothers made their historic first powered flights. Keep an eye out for the Wright Brothers Monument after landing, seen during taxi at the top of the hill on your left. See if you can spot it in VR.